G'day Flores, this is Neon, I hope you're all having a bloody great day today. <laughs> so today I've got something a bit different for you. I've decided to do a tutorial for you to show you in Audacity to show you how to take advantage of chains. Chains are probably the single most useful tool that you have in Audacity because it allows you to do batch processing of effects. So this is what a chain does. So this is a, this is a native recording of just just record. I've removed the noise from it, but it's just the, the way it was recorded. Set against the backdrop of World War. You notice that the microphone volume is really low because it has to be because the microphone is fairly close to me. And if I emote, then it might clip. And clipping is when the the waveform exceeds the space that it's got and it chops the top off the waveform. So the backdrop of World War comes out rather thin and quiet like that. But that can be fixed. This is, a, this is a chain. And you apply this to the clip. Now it sounds like this. Set against the backdrop of World War I. Witness the birth of modern warfare. Now doesn't that sound so much better? It sounds great. <laughs> That's what a chain does. So now I'm going to show you how to make a chain. But first I'm going to show you what it's like when you don't have a chain, when you when you have to do it all manually. So let's do that. So, okay, this is the way you go. So when you've got your native recording that you've just done, you're always going to have noise in the room. Even in the quietest room, you're always going to have noise. And you want to subtract. So that's what you want to do. You record 15 seconds of that. Make sure you're holding your breath. Because if your microphone is close to your mouth, you need to hold your breath. So that you record just the room and not you. Make sure all fans are off too. So, you select, you start off by doing this manually, the way you would do this manually before I knew how to do chains. You go into effects, you go to noise production, you get a noise profile, you get a sample of the noise. And that's what this is for, to get a sample of the noise. Because you can't get it out of your audio. And we just, boom. That's still got some noise there. You notice there's still got a little bit of noise there. And if we process this, that will get amplified and we don't want that. So we get 15 seconds and again, we'll take another sample. You don't want to do this in big steps. Like you don't want to slide these sliders up to do this, to just floor it. You don't want to do that. And do it in one go because you'll just destroy the quality of your audio. You've got to do it in small steps. So these settings are quite good. You can usually do it in two. So that's got none left. So process this. This should be fine. So the way you would normally process it to get a deeper, richer voice, you would go to equalization, go to bass boost, bass boost, or you, or you could do, you could just go uh, down to here to bass boost and do it that way. I've always done it this way. Make sure you got graphic, B spline, that way. Otherwise, you get this look. And I, I like this one. And bass boost. Put that on. Go back to EQ. And do treble boost. And then we go to uh, normalize. It's a good setting for normalize. Then we go to compressor. And this is the settings that I used. And then we go back to normalize. And then finally, because I've got a squeaky little voice, I would drop the pitch down to 4%. And this is what it would sound like. Set against the backdrop of World War I. Witness the birth of... So, it's okay. It sounds good. But it takes quite a while, particularly if you're fiddling with it. You've, if you don't like the way... Because normally the way I do it is I do an effect and I listen to it. Do, do I like it? Do I want to tweak it some more and undo it and tweak it some more? So I can spend 10 or 15 minutes on doing this manually. So let's undo all that. Undo that. Undo that. And we'll, we'll leave the noise on. So let's do it with a chain. So I'll show you how to make a chain. You go to File. You go to edit chains, really bloody useful. So what we're going to do, we're going to add, we're going to, this is, this is my default chain, but we're going to add a new one and we're going to call it chain. <laughs> That's really creative. <laughs> and I oh, look, I've already got one called chain. Let's, let's remove that one. 
What about that one? Oh, that's... <laughs> this is... This is the... <laughs> Let's call it something else. Let's call it... Tutorial. I won't mix it up then. <laughs> so now we've got our... We've got our chain there. We've got to put some elements into it. So we're going to go insert. Now... All of these effects are default effects for Audacity, except for two, Bass Boost and Compress Dynamics. Now, both of these are in the show notes below, so all you have to do is go down and find them. But Bass Boost, we're going to put that in, and we're going to, these effects, these numbers are great. Now, the, one of the beautiful things about Change is that it remembers your settings. The way we did it before, going manually step after step, it doesn't remember your change, your settings when you close down Audacity. This does. So that's what makes it really beautiful. And click OK. It's our first one. So now we want to do another one. And we're going to go for change pitch. So I've got a squeaky little voice. And no one wants to listen to my voice because it's, <laughs> it's squeaky. So I've got to make it listenable. <laughs> that's a new word. I would normally have change pitch above bass boost. So the way you do that, you come down here to move up. Boom. There it does. So let's go to the next one. So now you've got compressor. Two compressors, this one or this one. This one is default. This one is the plugin that we're going to be using. In the default one, this is the setup for the default. And it's a good setup. It's okay. But we're going to be using this one, which is a plugin, and you'll again you'll find the link in the show notes below, and I'll show you how to install plugins at the end of the, this video. So then click Edit Parameters. This is the setup I use for this compressor. Now, this compressor was made by a guy called Chris Nyquist. Nyquist. N y q u i s t, and. Um, it's a really, really good plugin. So we're going to use this one, and that's my setup. Click OK. There we go. And you can see it's recording all the, all the setup for it. So we've got our next one. Damn it! I forgot. I forgot. We've got to delete that. No. We've got one more to do before that. We've got to go to Mr. Normalize. You've got to normalize before you compress. And this is a good setup. You can go either one or two or three, minus one, minus two, minus three. It's up to you. I used to do three, uh, minus three. Now, <clears throat> now I do minus one. Click OK. Now we're going to do the compressor. Same parameters, set up exactly the same. Click OK. So you, um, it's uh, EQ, which is bass boost. Normalize, compress, normalize. Okay, just remember that EQ, normalize, compress, normalize. That's the way you do it. And now we normalize again. Same settings. And that's it. We're done. And that's it. that's our chain. So now we can click on it, and we can go file, go apply chain, and we'll go tutorial apply to the current project. Or well, before we do, have a listen. Set against the backdrop of World War One. Set against the backdrop of World War One. Witness Doesn't that sound much better? Of... Sounds so much better. This is the one that I use, and boom, which is pretty much the same thing. Set against the backdrop of World War One. With Witness... less bass. So, that's really nice, but there's one problem. In order to apply a chain, I've got to go click, click, click. Well, that's, that's three clicks. I don't want to do that. That takes too long. Let's have a better hotkey. Hotkey would be good. So, get into Edit, go to Preferences, uh, go into Keyboard, here, here. And just go up to the search bar and just type in chain. Down here, you can type in your 
just hold down a key like X, D, but I use C. Control C is used for something else, so don't use that. And then press the set button. And you've got it. I'll just go Control C, Alt, oh, sorry, Alt C, and boom. There it is. Done. So, now you've got that. How do you install these plugins? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, software, recording, audio recording, Audacity, Audacity plugins. So you'll get these two files, both of these two files. And you want to download them both. And I'll make sure that the link is available. If the link is missing, you find that the link is broken, then you send me a message. I will fix the link. And because sometimes, you know, these companies, they, they wipe out your stuff in your, in your cloud storage. So you extract this. Uh, actually, we'll use the other one. This is better to do this. This one. This one has some Mac stuff in there as well. Now make sure that you select this one, okay? Don't select them all, okay? Don't just do it like that. Make sure you select Compress, okay? And then Extract. Now, Audacity on my drive is stored by default in Programs 86. So go there, open up Audacity, and put it into Plugins. And it's already there. And do the same thing for Bass Boost. But with Bass Boost, because the second one, you've already done it once, so you don't have to go there and do it again. You can just drop this down, and there's the, the, that's where you put it. There you go. But you can only do that on the second time. Now, now that you've got the files in the right place, how do you install them into Audacity? Well, that's also very easy too. You go to Effect. Sorry. Ah, you go to effect, you go to add remove plugins, and if you've got a plugin in the, the in the the plugin folder, then it will show up in here. Like here's the bass boost. And here's the compress. What you do once you've put them in there for the first time, then you click on them and you type and you press press the enable button. And you same thing with the other one. Click on it. And you press enable and then press OK. And that's it. That's it. I think they show up in here somewhere. They are in here somewhere. There's bass boost there. And the compress, I think, is in here. Is it in here? Where is it? No, see, computer, see. I think it should be in. Yeah. Come on, open up. Audacity. Like this is just for the uh, compress. This one. Yeah. So there you go. But you notice now it's got different settings. See, it's got different settings than we had it before. So if you look, that was 0.5. If you go up and edit the chain, you'll see up here we've got 0 0.8, 0 0.16. You see, it doesn't remember. So that's it. That's everything you need to know about how to use chains. And it is the single most useful thing. When I'm doing a video, uh, putting a video together, I could spend 10 or 15 minutes just doing the processing because before, before I had chains and I would have to go through, just find out, do I like it like this? No, no. But now I can, I can find the sound of the channel and just get the exact sound of the channel and get it every single time. Bang on. Fantastic. That's exactly what I needed. So there you go. Chains. Wonderful advantage for you. So. As always, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you did like the video, then share it with your friends who might also like it. You know, put it on your Facebook page. And so others who might, who might be on your Facebook might see it and go, hey, that, that's useful. Do me a favor and hit that little bell icon 
and so that you'll get notified of new uploads. That would be fantastic because I'm trying really hard. For the last 18 months, I've been trying my little butt off to get this channel to grow. And we're growing slowly. We're just getting there. But with the help of top 10 information, we're slowly getting there. But you know, a little bit of help is needed, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. So you have a bloody great day. I really mean that. I really hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the flip side. Bye. <laughs> oh, you're still here. Well, since you're still here, you might as well click one of these videos. Or maybe you're new here. In that case, you can hit that big neon button and subscribe. Or you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links are in the description. Oh, and don't forget to join the crew by clicking the notification bell. Have a great day. Bye-bye.